This is Rocky Carson with Racket World, and today we're going to go with a backhand splat. First thing you want to know when hitting the backhand splat is where you can hit it from. You're going to want to make contact tight to the side wall. That will put spin on the ball, which then grabs the front wall and force the ball to jump to the opposite side of the court. To execute a good splat, you want the ball to bounce twice before the opposite wall, as well as getting that ball to bounce twice before at least the short line, if not the front line. How to hit the splat. Notice how I'm driving my body where I want to hit the ball on the side wall. Doing this, you want to stay level with your shoulders and drive through the shot. The most common mistake is when players drive towards the front wall and then try to hit it towards the side wall. If you notice quickly, to being good at executing this, you need to properly give yourself space between where you want to make contact with the ball when approaching your shot. This will allow you to drive into that shot. You saw me executing some backhand splats. Now let's go into the forehand. The same fundamentals apply. Staying low and level, driving into the wall where you want to hit that shot, and hoping to get the ball to bounce twice before the opposite side wall or the second line. Now you've seen me execute quite a few of these splat shots from different angles on the court. The big thing that's great about this splat is it'll bring your opponent farther forward. With doing this, this will open up the back court or your pass shots. Right now you're seeing me go through some of the drills that I practice while I'm at home. Setups off the back wall and setups off the front wall and working really good on trying to focus on a proper approach so I can execute a nice level shot. Try this at home and I'm pretty sure you're going to be pretty happy with your results. <laughs>